so dad got us in sailing. He so we lived in Hollywood at the time mm-hmm. we were growing up, and I was maybe I was uh, six maybe six or seven maybe, and uh, dad got us in. He just fancied going sailing, so he got a wee mare dinghy mm-hmm. down at Hollywood Yacht Club, and so like he was, he had, I think he had some friends uh-huh. at work that was into it, and they invited him down. He quite liked it, so he. Okay. Said, oh boys, do you want to come down? We we went out paddling, like just rowing. Yeah. First of all, and it was brilliant. Yeah. Um, like my dad had no idea, and probably still doesn't have much of an idea. Like, so we were out paddling with him, and like you know, your dad's like yeah. a superhero, so yeah. no worries. And he had this book, literally something like this. Uh-huh. Reading. Okay, the wind's here. I can't <laughs> steer. And there's my there's me and my brother just steering away, like, and just that was it. A second. And it was so easy. Yeah. And uh, we absolutely loved it, and that was it really. So now I managed to do a full, well, to this date, without ever having to go into work in a proper yeah. office. Yeah. So done an Olympic campaign, done, like my brother's now on his fourth Olympic campaign or something, so we, we yeah. teamed up together, raced all over the world, sailed all over the world, been in some of the best match racing tours and everything else. And I, you know, I coach the Irish Academy, and I do some freelance stuff for like Pakistan and Malaysia, um, Singapore and China, like on a coaching uh, consultancy basis. And so I'm a, I travel a fair bit, and uh, but my thing at the minute is I coach the Irish team, and it's becoming really, really successful, which is good. And it's not just me, but we have a full package in behind yeah. it. And, um, well, this year we've got a bit less. Two from up here, mm-hmm. one from Cork, and the rest are from Dublin. And that's why we base ourselves out of Dublin. But it's going to change now because I look after my guys are now going into development after this year. So I've got a new batch of guys coming through. Uh, my I, my thing is I get them up through the youth ranks and yeah. the junior rank or yeah more youth. So that goes youth is anything under twenty one. Oh right, so I bring okay. them up to that stage and then. In between that stage, they're going into the senior level too. Okay. So that is an eye opener, but they're they're doing well. So, wow. And uh, at the start of the year, we took a clean podium suite as well, in um, in Met in Horn, in Amsterdam. So brilliant. it's good. That's my bread and butter. That's brilliant. You enjoy it, sure. It's good. Yeah. It has its moments. Oh, I. And uh, but that's why I set up the sailing school in Bangor. Uh-huh to try and not be away as much. So uh-huh. when before Rory was born and like we lived in Australia for many years, I used to be away for maybe six months, not all at uh-huh. once. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, like off and on as for now I'm contracted in with hundred and twenty days away. Okay. Which, which is which is four months really. Yeah. But it's more manageable. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so when I'm home usually I don't have anything to do. But now I've got the sailing skill. Yeah. The idea is to try and flip my attention onto that, but it's starting to take off. Uh-huh. Like the boat's running every day now. Um, yeah, it's cool. Then the problem is down at Bangor, I don't have facilities to bring lots of groups of kids in, and I would like to see the marina and the harbour being used outside of the yacht clubs. So it's, again, it's in my opinion, but the yacht clubs have a stigma attached to them, and people, lots of people don't want to join clubs, and they're always trying to push get in, get in, join clubs and whatever. I want to have it open to all the, the public and so the idea is that if I could do the um, stand up paddle boarding, you know, just the mm-hmm. water sports in general, but so I look at doing that and I'm happy to, for me to go and try and invest and get that going and have a group of small boats and all mm-hmm. the kids come down, but I don't have the facility for them. The minute that it's just not there, yeah. so that's why I've kept with the bigger boats because yeah. you can come down and just go with the boats. But they're not like I've had some kids courses, but and it's gone well, but not to the same volume where you could get like a classroom, for example, yeah. of um, or two classrooms of kids down or younger people or whatever yeah. summer schemes and all that. Yeah. Down. Is that um, you want to try and tap into schools and summer schemes? Yeah, that's what yeah. I would like to do, yeah. and it works down in Ireland like yeah. so well, and yeah. they've got. There's a place, um, Irish National Sailing School down in uh, Dunleary, and I think it's now in the curriculum that you have to the kids, uh, yeah. do a um, semester on the water. Yeah. And it's not about most of them will learn how to sail a bit, but it's about going out. It's uh, about just getting out there, getting wet, and having a bit of fun. Yeah. And starting to get them into something else, and it's not that it's. I think the thing is well up here, people look at the marina and think, oh, 
everybody's loaded there yeah. and that's that wee yeah. section yeah and to a certain extent at the far end of the pier it probably is that because yeah. i even look at the boots and go guys making like three million that you can buy a boot but yeah. on the other hand you can go sailing for the next like next to nothing yeah. and uh, that's where i want to come in and so it's yeah you want to sail twice a week or whatever you know it's a five or a night or you know something yeah yeah minimal where it's and yeah so it's, it's easy, yeah. the whole community and yeah yeah it's but just not this elite thing no but that's where i'm stuck and yeah. i see more benefits out of sailing again not to do with the sailing but with the teamwork yeah. uh bonding communication skills yeah. you know it breaks down all the barriers between that and that's what i really see